howdy people i'm back with another video and today i have a um, pr unboxing from nail attic aka nail reserve la and i'm super excited because i really enjoyed working with their products last time let's hop into what they sent me um one of the things they sent was this awesome mini uv led lamp let's take a look and see how this is so this is how the nail lamp comes. They come with a cord, the six LED lamps at the back, and it has an on off button. So that's always nice when lamps have that. So yeah, and I do see here on the packaging that the lamp is six watts. So it's a nice powerful lamp for a mini LED lamp. And then they also sent me over some polishes. I actually have no idea what they sent me. They um, said that they wanted to send me some more colors to try out. And I said, awesome. <laughs> So let's um, see what they sent me. We can open it here together, you guys. Let's see. Oh, that's upside down. Okay, I think that happened last time too. Ooh, wow, you guys. Looks like they sent me a lot of goodies. Let me back up here and get everything unboxed. Wow, this is a lot. Oh, cool. So they sent the peel-off base coat. Oh my gosh, y'all know I love using me a good peel-off base coat. They sent me Pink Panther, ooh, okay. The remover, I'm not really sure what the remover is. I have a lot of purples, maybe this was a purple collection. I have Friday Night here, Best of Summer, Never Say Never, their No White Top Coat, which is awesome. I love a No White Top Coat. And I have the Matte Top Coat, wow you guys. All right, cool, let's see the consistency of the Matte Top Coat, okay. It looks like a pretty good consistency for a matte top coat. It's on the thicker side, so it has a, a higher viscosity, but it's really nice, okay. Who knows, y'all, I might end up doing a matte design. I haven't done matte nails since the fall of last year. Um, I'll insert a picture here so you guys can see the, the one and only <laughs> matte uh, set that I did, but I absolutely loved it. So yeah, you guys, I wanted to talk a little bit more about this remover. I'm actually not 100% sure what this is, so I was reading the back of it. And it says, for the directions of it, you're supposed to apply a thick layer of the gel polish remover on your nails. Let the remover cure for five minutes and easy, easily peel off the gel polish from your nails. No lamp needed, no acetone needed will remove all gel polish. So I'm kind of curious what the consistency of this is. Ew. Oh. <laughs> um, it looks very weird. Excuse my initial reaction there, but um, yeah, I don't know. I guess this is how it's supposed to look. I have no idea. Huh, interesting. So yeah, um, the next time I do a set and I want to figure out how to use it, I think I'll give this a try. I think I've seen removers before. I think it's supposed to be goopy like this. So yeah, I guess I'll give my give it give it a try. I won't end up doing it in this set because I do plan on wearing my set for a few days. But whenever I need any easy removal of my gel polish application, I want to give this a try next time because I've seen these before, but I've never had a chance to use them. And then also in regards to the peel off base coat here, um, okay, it's of a nice thin consistency. All right. Um, it's a lot thinner than my Maran peel off base coat that I'm used to using. And let's see what the instructions say on here. It says product must be cured with the LED light for 60 seconds or UV for two minutes. Okay, so it seems pretty similar to my Maran Pill Off base coat. No white top coat. Let's see what the consistency is on this. Okay, yeah, really nice. Um, kind of like the same consistency as the other ones. A nice viscosity. It's not too thick, not too thin. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, cool. Hey, you guys, I'm liking everything they sent. So I actually had started swatching all of these colors off camera. This seems like this is a really beautiful, like, purple collection. Um, and I forgot to hit record. So I had started off with swatching Pink Panther here. This is just one coat of polish. So I am going to go ahead and go in with a second coat of polish. This seems like a really pretty kind of, like, mauve nudish looking color, like a deep mauve nude looking color. But, yeah, y'all know I absolutely love the Nail Attic polishes they're really nice and creamy and they smell really really good so i'm going to go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds the next color i'm going to go in with is never say never this is like a really nice um kind of a vibrant i don't know the best way to describe this but it's really pretty it's kind of like a it's like a pinky purple kind of color 
really really beautiful and y'all again these things smell so freaking good I don't know what they put in this formula but it is quite nice to say the least okay so that again one coat coverage y'all know these polishes they don't need much to build up the opacity next I'm gonna go in with best of summer and best of summer is kind of like this neon looking purple color it's like a neon purple and again y'all y'all see this one coat coverage nice creamy formula absolutely love it I really like working with these polishes yeah okay the next color here is Friday night which is like your basic standard nice beautiful purple so that's what this looks like Pretty. That's one coat of coverage. I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coat for each of these colors off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back and this is what all of the colors look like after two coats of coverage. I am really liking how these colors look. They're absolutely stunning, absolutely gorgeous. And I did go in with that Nail Addict slash Nail Reserve top coat and it is a no wipe top coat and it feels nice and smooth so so i did decide what design i'm going to do i'm actually going to go in with a color that i got from my previous package and that is the c swing and sun i really any excuse i have to use this color i probably will because it's absolutely stunning and gorgeous but i wanted to try my attempt at some french tip nails i don't think i've actually done that on my channel before Actually, no, I haven't. So I wanted to do some French tip nails, you guys. So I'm gonna go in with the C Swing and Sun. It's such a nice nude color. And then I think I'm gonna go in with, I think, Best of Summer here. So I'm gonna go in with these two. I'm gonna make this my French tip. And I'm gonna make some cute summertime nails that has like butterflies and such. So yeah, y'all, let's hop into this. I am gonna go in with the Peel Off Base Coat here. I wanna give it a try. Um, I actually, like I said, I'm gonna use another pill off base coat, so I'm excited to be giving another one a go to see, um, you know, if there's like what the longevity is with it or how easy it is to peel off. So I'm gonna go in with the thin layer of that to all of the nails here. I do have my Nail Addict Mini Lamp. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. Oh, okay. Well, that burns a little bit as it's curing. So that's been applied. Let's test how sticky this is. Okay. It's sticky, but it's not as sticky as the Moran Peel Off Base Coat. So, okay, let's go in with my top coat. And lately I've really been enjoying using top coat to apply my full cover tips. It just really allows for at least an easy pop off removal. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the No Wipe Top Coat. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna use to apply my um, full cover coffin tips here, okay? And I'm gonna be doing the A-Press Dupe Method. I'm not gonna use this lamp for that because it's not gonna be easy for me to do. I am gonna go ahead and go in with this mini LED lamp that I have. You all have seen me do this a million and one times on my channel, but you wanna feel the well, and then you wanna come in at the cuticle area, press down, cure under the lamp. So I have filed, shaped, and buffed my um, full cover tips off camera. Now I'm gonna go in with this beautiful C Swing and Sun color here. And I'm gonna apply that to all of the nails, creating that nice new nail bed. I really like working with these nail addict polishes. They're really nice and creamy. I love the formula, love the consistency of them. Um, and what's really cool about their products is that they're vegan, they're nine free, and they are cruelty free. So I always love it when products, you know, Try to be conscious to the environment, you know, and make an attempt to have a, a nice footprint on the world. So, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this beautiful new color. Isn't that just stunning? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this new color and then I'm gonna French tip it out. Okay, so this is what that one coat of Sea Swing and Sun looks like. I love that it's kind of like a transparent um, nude color. I'm gonna go in with one more coat just to build up the opacity just a little bit more.
So that is what the two coats of coverage looks like. I'm gonna go in with the top coat before I attempt to do this French tip design, okay? So this is what it looks like after the top coat has been applied. I am gonna do a French tip, so I have my mixing plate here. I have the best of summer color that I'm gonna do the French tip with. I do also have my nail art liner brush from Young Nails. So that's what I'll be using to do my French tip. And what I'm gonna do is just take some of this color here on my mixing plate. and attempt to draw that French tip here, okay? So I don't really have, I, this is my first time doing a French tip, so I'm really not sure, um, you know, how to do it, but I'm just gonna go based off what I've seen in videos, you know? So let's see, I think people normally do like a, I guess like here, like this, out a little bit okay and then from here I'm going to well, that's kind of a cool look too and then from here I'm just gonna go in with the actual brush itself and just fill in the rest of that tip and you guys this stuff again it's one coat coverage so actually all I need is just this one coat for the French tip which is kind of nice so I wanted to pop in um, just to give another quick tip. As you're doing the French tip, you want to get as close as possible to the line um, to kind of create that curve, but not too close to where it kind of messes it up. So yeah, you see me just doing that. And I also forgot to mention where I got the inspiration from for this design. Big shout out to Phyllis Banks. She recently did a matte French tip design on her channel and it was giving. So it inspired me to do this set. So shout out to you, Phyllis. Thanks for the inspiration. All right, y'all. So let's get back into this awesome French tip look. All right, it's not horrible. So I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure that for 10 seconds. So I'm gonna go in with the next nail and repeat the same process on all the nails here. Alrighty, so all of my French tips have been applied and yeah, I'm liking how it looks you guys. I was able to do my French tips without going in and cleaning up anything. My goal was to not have to clean up anything and I think I did all right with that. I hope they look nice and clean. Um, so next I'm gonna go in with these butterfly stickers. I was going through my sticker collection. I thought these would be super cute to add on to the nail here. So I'm just gonna kinda go ahead and add them on haphazardly over all of the nails um, and just really bring this cute little French tip design to life. So I think I wanna focus on some of these, like the stickers that's like around this area because they're kind of more of that pinky, pinky color. So let's see. I'm gonna do one right here. Okay, so I'm liking how that's looking. I'm gonna go ahead and um, add a matte top coat now just to see what effect it might give to all the nails. All right, y'all. So I was trying to decide if I wanted to do matte or glossy, but baby, this matte is giving me all type of life right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do matte on all of the nails. OMG, this is really, really beautiful. Like the glossy is cute and all, but baby, that matte, ooh, it just, it hit different, okay? It hits very differently. So I'm gonna go ahead and matte top coat all of these nails here. Man, I haven't done matte nails in forever. Oh, I forgot how much I love them. So you see the glossy is cool and all, but don't that matte just, ooh, okay. <laughs> I am loving it, baby, come through. Ooh. Do y'all see it? Okay, let me go ahead and throw some oil on these cuticles, y'all, because I am ready for this. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute? 
so oh my goodness do y'all see this matte effect happening oh my i just love it oh my goodness i have not done matte nails in forever and i just i forget how beautiful and how amazing that effect is and i really like the matte effect over top of these butterfly stickers it just adds a nice different shift to them you see the stickers here this nice like glossy and it has all these cool shifts in color but when you put it on a matte background oh my gosh y'all what do you think let me know down in the comments below um and i think i did all right with my frenchies you know the lines aren't perfect but you know what i am in love with this design okay y'all like yes it's it's a yes for me y'all it's a yes for me okay so thoughts on these products y'all already know i'm a big fan of nail attic products i mean they're really good they're really high quality they're really easy to use y'all know they're vegan non-free cruelty free love the products they always perform so beautifully do y'all see what i was able to create with it so so cute and actually let me correct myself i think the whole video i've been saying nail addict i've been saying la reserve too but officially nail addict has rebranded their entire website and their entire brand and they are now known as nail reserve so it's nail reserve la is the official um, new company name for nail addict so yeah i love the products um i do have a discount code with them that's rose nails so because they updated the website they also updated my discount code so um, the new discount code is rose nails and I'll leave that on the screen here so if you all want to check them out save some money um, I'll leave that link in the description below but it's 50% off which is a is a pretty hefty discount so so yeah you guys back to the look she's giving okay giving oh my gosh I just I really love this set but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of this look. Y'all know I'm in love. This matte effect is giving everything it's supposed to give. I also have a tutorial on this design as well. This was uh, my Mother's Day set that I did. So I'm going to go ahead and link that down in the description below. But yeah, let me know which set is your favorite set, you guys. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!